Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create a navbar in Angular. First of all, let's create our Angular project I have already downloaded using ng-new command. And uh, in order to have a navbar in Angular that always takes some time, we need to have a separated component for a navbar. So let's open our terminal and create this new component. And the command is npx ng generate component navbar all right the component navbar has been added to our app directory and let's take a look at our navbar html as you can see let me just remove this and have an actual navbar here a nav tag with class of navbar a navbar large and inside of it, I want to have a navbar brand. For example, for the logo. All right, let's save the changes. So all we have to do now is go to our TS file and copy this selector and paste it in our app component.html that way it will always stick on the top and uh, let's open terminal and run our project using npm run stars all right as you can see this is our navbar layer but uh, let's just make it more like a navbar let me just go to navbar uh, components.css or CSS or what is it and give it some kind of style like a border button two pixels solid and a color gray and let's just give it a padding Okay, save the changes and let's take another look. All right, now it looks more like a navbar. So in order to uh, make it stay over there right on the top, all we have to do is to leave that, uh, our, leave our app component like this. Navbar would be on the top and the other components will be added right at the bottom of navbar. And that would be all. So let's just create a new component Something like new C. Enter. All right. Uh, as you can see, this is new C component. And let's uh, copy the selector of this new component and paste it uh, at the bottom of navbar. And as you can see, navbar is right there and the new C component is under it. And that would be all. Some other way to add a navbar to our Angular app is Bootstrap. Let's go and search for Get Bootstrap. Click on the first link, and here go to Docs, and on the left look for Navbar. Click on Navbar, and as you can see, there are tons of styles of navbar, uh, bootstrap navbars and all of them are responsive which is so interesting and you can actually uh, pick whatever you want it doesn't really matter right now but i think this one sounds actually pretty cool let me copy the code all we have to do is to paste the code in our navbar component go to your browser and as you can see we have a great navbar and if i just uh, change the screen width you can see it is totally responsive and the toggler appears and great. So uh, let's just customize it a little bit in terms of style. Uh, let's uh, get rid of this drop down menu at first. And let me change this length home. The second would be something like about. And this one, let me remove the disabled and the contact. All right. 
Uh, I also want my nail bar uh, background to be yellow, so I, all I have to do is to add a BG warning class. And let me take a look. Beautiful. Okay, and uh, let's just uh, change this button size as well. I want it to be red, so all I have to do is to change this BTN outline success to BTN outline danger. And it would be red. Danger. All right. Beautiful. I hope you learned how to add navbar in Angular and let me know if you had any questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.